My name is Martin Powell. I'm the general manager of Patisserie Chanson. We're a bakery slash restaurant. My name is Colin Stevens. So I'm the bar director. I help out with basically anything beverage related. We have cakes, pastries, bread. It's a very stressful time. You don't really have the option to not have revenue. This situation was potentially devastating. So we got creative. Currently our goal and mission is to continue our business as if it wasn't a crisis going on. It's not, it's not easy. It's scary going to work every day. Definitely weird on the transit. Normally I have to take the train, but because everything's been pretty empty, I'm able to get to work driving. It makes you feel like you're not supposed to be outside. New York City is not that empty. We started this delivery business basically from nothing. We had no delivery prospects. We didn't really have delivery accounts. Um, but with the problem we had off the bat was that uh, there weren't enough drivers. We knew just like we get up every day and it's scary for us to go out and work. We know it's scary for the delivery guys. We know it's scary for the UPS workers. We know it's scary for the FedEx workers. These are the people who are maybe the most stressed, most in need of a lift. Um, so after those first couple of days is when we decided to do the croissants. And so when they come in, after they're able to get the food that they came to pick up, as they're walking out, they're able to pick up what they like. Anything we can do to make their day a little better, even if it's just one pastry, um, you know, it puts a smile on their face and that makes a big difference for us. They, they look forward to it the next day. I have a guy that comes in every day. He, he doesn't necessarily deliver anything for us, but he still comes in every day for that croissant. So it shows that it's actually working. They were incredibly grateful, which makes us really happy. We're fortunate to be able to do that for now. Without the police officers being on the front line, our business wouldn't be able to continue running. We need them significantly. We couldn't be open if it weren't for the police looking out for us and their jobs have gotten orders of magnitude more stressful. We just want to make it easier, a little easier for them. Anybody who works at a hospital, the doctors, the frontline workers who are probably eating about the same thing every day, it's 50% off. So in about 24 hours, we put together a to-go food menu, a menu of cocktails that could be bottled. We're really lucky to have a team that can put something like that together. A normal day for me was coming in, answering some emails, coming upstairs, checking the floor. Now I'm the person that's packing the bag. I'm the counter. I'm the barista. I do a little bit of everything. We work together as one team. We're both just always involved and in working with each other to make it happen. Everybody is pulling together to help each other out. From the head cook, head baker, Colin, me, everybody. Everybody's been putting in a hand to make things move. You know, I, I walk in and everybody's got a smile on their face and is happy to see each other. Trying to be creative, find ways to keep the business going. It's great to see. So right now we haven't laid anybody off. I really hope we don't have to. Everybody has their own situation in this crisis, and it's hard to know what's happening for the person living in the apartment next to you. There's so many people who can't work right now. That could be devastating. If you reach out to a restaurant worker who you know, ask if you can help them, you know, send them a meal, that would be nice. Uh, we're trying to do that ourselves. If we're not at work, then some people aren't able to eat.